Cervical transferaminal steroid injections are a non-surgical treatment option for neck pain that can radiate to the shoulders and arms. The cervical area of the spine is located in your neck. Seven small bones called vertebrae make up the cervical spine. A disc between each bone allows movement and acts as a shock absorber. The opening in the center of each bone forms the spinal canal. The spinal cord is located within the protective spinal canal. The spinal cord is surrounded by the epidural space. Spinal nerves extend from the spinal cord, travel out of the cervical spine through the tunnel-like openings in the bone called foramina, and continue to the head, neck, shoulder, upper arms, wrist, and hands, and then to your diaphragm, the muscles used for breathing. The nerves transmit signals from these areas back and forth to your brain. Cervical transferaminal steroid injections are used to treat pain resulting from pinched nerves in the neck. Ruptured discs and arthritic changes can contribute to pinched or compressed nerves, causing radiating arm pain known as radiculopathy. Another source of pain, spinal stenosis, is a condition that causes the spinal canal to narrow, putting pressure on the spinal cord and spinal nerves. Cervical transferaminal steroid injections use medications to relieve such pain. The short outpatient procedures can be performed at your doctor's clinic, a hospital, or surgery center. To begin, you will be positioned lying down or sitting up. Your neck area will be sterilized and numbed with anesthetic. You may receive a relaxing medication before your procedure. Your doctor will use a live x-ray to carefully insert and guide the needle to the foramen tunnel of the affected nerve. A contrast dye is used to confirm the needle placement. Next, the steroid medication solution is delivered and the needle is removed. The medication eases inflammation, swelling, and pain. You will be monitored for several minutes before you can return home. If you received a relaxing medication, you should have another person drive you to and from the procedure. It is possible to experience relief with just one injection, however repeat injections may be necessary.